aggressive in the first half, and, and, I, and you know, I was doing a lot of things, and um, I felt like I kind of got away from that in the second half, and then I was missing shots, and, you know, I, I take those shots. Like, you know, it's not like I was missing, like, wing threes or anything like that. I was missing corner threes, the shots that I take every single day. So I'm going to shoot those same shots, and, you know, and, and I bet you the, the result would be different. All right, you can break down the films. And we see that you're solving yourself in green through mm -hmm. 25%. Mm -hmm. Done a lot of shots, a lot of good shots. Right. What, what was what happened in the evaluation of that? Um, I mean, I think obviously, you know, when you, if you play with Kawhi, you know, people are going to take, you know, trying to take his shots away, and and, and you know, it means that people are going to be open, and 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 when you're open, you got to shoot them, and um, you know, I think we just that game. Would, we didn't make a lot, you know, as a team, and and I mean, Kyle made a lot of threes and, and stuff. But it, I think as a team collectively, we didn't make as much like, as we needed to. Like open shots, you know, for the most part. So. No, but thank you. Yep, thank you, my guy. Yes, sir. Going. Thank you. Pascal, as a, as a team, when, when you go back and look at the film from game one, do you guys spend more time looking at emphasizing what you guys? Did well in the first three quarters, or what you guys didn't do well? Well, I think it's both. I think it's both. Um, I think we put ourselves in, in, a, in a really good position during the game, and 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 you know we felt like we had a chance to to, to close it out, and, and maybe if we execute better at the end of the game or do some some things different or get the shots that we want to, um, it's a different result. Um, but at the same time, we also know that you know we didn't do certain things well, you know, um, at, at the end of the game there. Or so it's both. It's a combination of both. Did you feel fatigue played any factor in the fourth quarter? No, I don't think so. Re rebounding has been an issue at various points in the postseason. You guys rebounded the ball really well in, in Game 7 against Philadelphia. Mm. Is there anything that you guys did in that game that you can sort of right. try to emphasize? Um, I think we always kind of like try to emphasize because since I feel like since the first playoff game, we played with Orlando, you know, they rebound a lot. We played Philly. The same thing, and we played this uh, Milwaukee, and we know that it, you know they're a good rebounding team. So I think it's always been an emphasis, and, and you know we just gotta go out there and do it. Like at the end of the day, they have length, and and you know we just gotta we just gotta get the ball. That's that's the mentality. Just go out there and get the ball. Make sure they don't get it. Just go in and try to win. That's it. Same mindset. No, it's nothing different. Just go in and try to execute our plays and be good on defense. Um, just try to get in our offense a little bit better. Uh, try to find an open shot, open man, and uh, just try to knock him down. When you say a little bit better, do you just mean faster? Huh? When you say a little bit better, do you mean fat, like getting the offense faster? Uh, just make sure we all know what we're doing. And, um, yeah, not, not really faster, a little bit more pace, um, setting screens, and just... You know, whenever we draw two or three guys, just make a pass and, like I said, try to find an open shot. Do you think fatigue played a factor at all for you guys in fourth quarter? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say that. Uh, it could be possible, but, um, you know, like I said, we just need to execute. Why were you guys generally happy defensively with what you did in game one and maybe just, as you're saying, executing the offense a little more today? Uh, yeah, um, but, you know, um, the last two quarters wasn't too good for us uh, defensively, so we definitely want to do better. When you go back, Kawhi, and as a team, do you spend more time looking at and emphasizing what you guys did well in the first three quarters, or do you spend more time in the fourth quarter? time with all the quarters, uh, just seeing what we did good and what we did wrong. Uh, no, I think it's. I think there's there's cleanup areas on both, you know, and and and, and really just about equally uh, distributed. What do you uh, think of the idea of maybe allowing Giannis to do his thing and staying to stay at home uh, as much as you need to on their team? Don't think much of that at all. All right, how come? I, I've told you what we're doing. Yeah. We're doing both. We're sending help and we're recovering. That's the, that's the way to do it. Right. You guys, lack of layup yesterday or the other day, like at the game, had like a low number of attempts in the at the rim, like lowest for your postseason so far. Is that just their defense? That's what they do, or do you? Yeah, 
I, just feel like you can... It's part of what they do, and, and probably we need to try to, to be more aggressive, especially at certain times and certain opportunities present themselves. Yes. Has the decision to go to just an eight-man rotation changed your thinking very much in game? Um... Who you run out when and, and, and that kind of thing? I mean, I think I think Doug is, as you know, I think it's like um, uh, that's one of the things I'm I'm always like it's at the top of the list of what what you're doing, right? I think like you know people always say to me, you know, when you come out on a timeout, what are you guys always talking about? Well, all, the first topic of conversation is always who should be in, who shouldn't be in. Who, you know, what are the matchups? And that's, that's kind of what dominates the first part of those coaches' meetings on the floor at a timeout. And then another thing is, is you see me staring at the stat sheet a lot on the bench while play is happening. Normally, I'm calculating minutes and looking at, you know, how, you know, hey, if he doesn't come out again, he's going to be at this mound or whatever. And and he has, you know, that's usually a lot of a, a part of it. Um, so, I, guess only I don't know what your three, question was well, again. But only having the yeah. has to make you change. How you look at those minutes because you don't don't have that ninth or tenth guy to run. A, up yeah, it, a lot of things change it, Doug. That's one of, that's one thing that changes it. I mean, the flow of the game, the matchups, who they got, foul trouble, um, just just uh, I don't know. Maybe a guy's just cold from the field. Maybe he's missed some defensive rotations. We're not very happy about. Um, there's lots of stuff that goes into that. Um, I would imagine it'll be different, right? I, I just, I just, I just think that there's never any games where they're, you know, exactly what you think they're going to be, or no two games are alike. Um, I think it's really situational, right? And I think it's, um, it's always right when you win, and it's always wrong when you lose. I really do, and that's just the way it is. I mean. I mean, uh, when the shot goes in, it's it drew up a great play, and when it doesn't, it was a bad play, and the wrong guy took it. It's just it's just that's just part of it. So we'll do our best to manage it, the best that that we can, so that our players have a chance to win the ball game. I mean, yeah, I think a little bit. I think we, we let ourselves down there a little bit, Michael, again. And, and again, uh, maybe that had to do with some of the rotations that we're talking about. Uh, maybe some size would help that. Um, again, I think I think uh, you got to try to keep it in perspective a little bit. I mean, we were making them miss so much that, that there's a lot of balls flying around, right? And you see, you, you got to be somewhat happy that at least there's that many available, right? And I think when there is that many available, the percentages are that they're, you're going to give up a, a raw number that's, that's higher than normal, right? That makes sense. Um, but we got to do better, right? We got to do better. We, we let them, I thought we let them push us around just a bit. We blocked out. They'd hit us in the back. We'd end up under the basket. They'd put it back in. We missed a couple. I thought we had a couple chances where, where two guys could block out one, and we didn't do it. Uh, we had a couple chances for sandwich rebounds, and we didn't do it. Um, and there was a couple long ricocheted ones that somebody just needs to throw it in high gear and try to run them down and beat them, beat them to the ball. Is it more of a game plan shift for you or just kind of a mental or effort? Um, I don't, I don't, um, I mean, I guess I don't really know yet, right? I think that, um, I thought we had a tremendous effort. Um, I thought the game plan was executed really well. It's probably, you know, it's probably why it was, you know, a tie game with two minutes to go. Um, I think you always need to adjust, win, lose, or draw. But I certainly don't think you overreact uh, to any narratives that are out there, like whatever they are. You, 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 you we're pretty, we're pretty confident in our team's ability to play defense. We're pretty confident in our team's ability to create good shots. We're, we're confident in our ability to play really hard. And those those three things should take us a long way. It's been taking you hard a long time to ignore those narratives, and do you still hear them, or do you no, care you, about them at all? You can't help but hear them, yeah. right? I, I, I totally ignore them all, right? I don't, I don't turn on my TV, or I, I'm on no internet. Uh, 
whatever. But you hear them because because um, not everybody ignores them, right? Not everybody ignores them, and and it's I mean it's as simple as this, Doug. Like like to ignore them, you gotta you gotta you gotta say, well, in in the game one loss to Orlando, I didn't play everybody enough. And the game on game one lost to Milwaukee, I played everybody too much. So basically, when you lose, nobody's ever happy, and that's and either are we. The narratives are narratives, and to me, they're just a bunch of pile of um, words.